The Nightmare Bats Challenge is here in Clash Royale, so we got you guys with the best deck to use. In order to get some easy wins, you're going to get the new emo. As you see, emo is a bat going crazy. It's pretty sick. You're going to want to get it, and it's, of course, a casual challenge, so you do have no losses. So you can have fun with it, but we do have the best deck for you guys today. If you don't want to mess around, if you want to get straight to the point, get those wins, get the emote, and get out. Now, it's important to know exactly what's going on in this challenge. So, basically, you got the Nightmare Bats that spawn in the back of both sides of the arena. They're hidden from troops completely, so you have to make sure you have other answers for them, including spells an ice wizard um, you know ice golem after it dies something like that like an electro wizard once it spawns the initial spawn will be able to kill it but after it spawns I mean it's not gonna be able to see these units one of the best decks you're gonna be able to use is this deck right here the splash yard with a bit of a modification instead of the barb barrel you have the giant snowball to of course help you take out these bats you have the tornado to kill the bats you have the poison to kill the bats and you have the ice wizard to kill the bats so you not only have four awesome answers to the bats but you also have the valkyrie and graveyard still as a win condition in order to make sure you can take down towers defensively you of course have all the splash damage and the tombstone in order to ensure that you have absolutely everything you need in order to get wins in the challenge the deck will be linked down below in the description if you'd like to copy it and be sure to subscribe for more future decks but let's get into the replays to show you guys exactly how to get some wins now the number one thing with this deck is to make sure you play passive until the two minute mark in the match in the beginning you're going to want to just play defense counter the bats counter anything the opponent sends at you this will make sure that you have a bunch of hp left on your towers and as you see that bat to the left had to get zapped it was able to do a decent amount of damage and if you of course don't deal with them they will do a lot of damage over time so we're gonna let our bats chill we're gonna just work some defense we're gonna make sure we have everything we need in order to uh, of course then eventually get some graveyards on the tower because graveyard is gonna be really good in this challenge especially with something tanking you guys know that when you're using graveyard you need something tanking for it but right there on that right side they have to use arrows on that one bat we have way more elixir because we're just countering we're just defending we're mostly focused on those bats so as you see here once again we're chipping the towers away with our spells we're of course doing some damage with our bats but the double elixir is about to hit right at the two minute mark as i said so now we're going to be able to go in with a graveyard we go in with the baby dragon at the river um this is going to be a really successful push because not only do they have to spend a bunch of elixir but we're going to get some tower damage over there as well and we're splitting up our pressure so they really are not going to have the easiest time dealing with everything as you see the ice wizard when he comes down he's going to be able to actually kill the bats which is super awesome very convenient there he's not only going to be able to kill the bats but he's of course going to be super versatile on defense with this deck that is what you love to see we nail the bats over there so once again we're splitting up our damage quite a lot but at the same time this is going to work out fantastic they have to use the spells on the bats and then they won't have too many great spell answers to our graveyard that's the whole idea behind this deck there's of course other decks that you can use that are going to be really good in the challenge but right here we're actually going to speed this match up because you can see once you take a tower just focus on some defense it's going to be very difficult for people to take towers uh, especially with splash yard being your main deck here because it's just got so many great defensive answers as you see we're actually going to be able to nearly take the two crown win here um, we're doing a bunch of damage left and right we keep on making sure of course to deal with the bats you want to make sure you can deal with them you want to make sure your cycle is good enough to where you always have it at least an answer um, and because you have four answers to them in your deck there is a high chance that you will at all times have answers to the bats in your cycle so it's super effective very fun deck easy to use as well of course um, and right here as you see we pretty much get the two crown win barely we don't but either way you can see dominating now let's get into match number two we have two more replays to show you guys match number two we're going to speed up the first minute because once again we're doing the same thing we're just going to counter the bats we're going to make sure we have plenty of elixir in order to defend everything that they might send at us like this mini pekka and then we want to continue to of course deal with the bats so I prefer to actually use the ice wizard on the bats rather than the tornado because tornado can be used on other units Potentially hog riders other things the opponents might have right so that is the thought process behind that We're about to hit double elixir and as you see this opponent has electro giant So it is going to get a little bit crazy this match. We see the poison spell come down um, if you can help it try not to uh poison the bats unless you're also hitting the enemy towers because of course you want to make sure you're getting that value we go into the graveyard and poison here we kill the bats we miss the minions because i freaked out a little bit because the electro giant came down i was like holy crap the poison luckily will kill the minions though um the electro giant's getting slowed down by this ice wizard and our bats on the left guys they're doing so much damage the opponent just must not have seen them they must have been really tunnel visioned on all of the stuff happening on our side of the map so the bats literally are chipping away the entire tower and that will happen to your opponents you really have to make sure you're keeping track of everything because otherwise look at this the bats kill the entire left side tower and we're still having a really successful defense but of course that makes it so much easier for us to win this match by immediately getting that tower like that so now there's four bats um, that all get arrowed down we're able to just continuously defend 
And as you see, I mean, we're going to be able to, it's more difficult to take a tower once um, King Tower activation is going on with the graveyard, of course. But if you have something tanking for the graveyard either way, you should be all good. But we have a massive lead here over time. We're going to be able to absolutely crush this opponent. And you're seeing here that Valkyrie, the Ice Wizard, the Tornado, the Baby Dragon, all the splash damage, all of the damage going through and slowness with the Ice Wizard. It's just too good on defense. That's another easy win. Now let's hop into the last replay of the day. This match was the most chaotic match out of them all. So once again, we're back to our roots. We're not going to speed up this part because this this one times the elixir fight here was a bit nuts we go in with the ice wizard here we kill the bat we slow down the hog but we miss the hog pull onto the tombstone of course the skeleton bell drops it's going to be a little bit chaotic the hog gotta get some damage we go ahead and we snowball left side here we nail the bat nice and easy but our cycle is really weird i wanted to try and get the tornado in cycle with their hog rider so we could of course take that thing down so we see the bat coming in we don't have any great answers to deal with it i should have poisoned it to hit the enemy tower instead we waited and once again i wanted to save my uh tornado for his hog rider so we go with a poison spell a four elixir poison on the one bat that's on our tower that was painful to me we have to go in with the ice wizard here on the left bat but as you see now we do at least have a little bit of a better cycle even though it cost us a lot of damage a lot of pain we're able to go in here with the tornado on the hog rider get us the king to activation which is massive when you're going against hog riders our Valkyrie's tagging up that right side. Our Ice Wizard Graveyard did a lot of damage to that left side. So we are right back in this thing. Uh, <laughs> we go with, once again, another de defensive poison. The poison cycle was really bothering me. But hey, it was getting the job done, kind of. Right there, at least it got us a little bit more value. You'll see here, the Hog Rider comes down. We go in with the Tombstone. We go in with the Ice Wizard on the bats to the left. Because I was like, shoot, we're going to need an answer to them. We see the Hog Rider coming in. Luckily, the King Tower helps us defend that. We're going to go in with another Graveyard here in a second. Um... We see the graveyard moving in. Or sorry, we see the baby dragon moving in. So I was like, shoot, let's just uh, graveyard this. Unfortunately, the baby dragon really screws us over there by just going really far away. We are able to take out the skeleton barrel. The bats are coming down. The poison spell that the opponent had does counter our graveyard. So we had to be really careful with that. If you're facing people with poison, you're going to need to really outsmart them. You're going to need to make sure you're going into the graveyards um, as soon as their poison is out of cycle, stuff like that. Um, but we go in with the ice wizard here. We go in with all this stuff. Hog rider gets slowed, which is absolutely clutch. Tornado allows the baby dragon to actually kill the hog rider which is kind of funny um we're able to snowball the bats on the right side baby dragon's moving in we're gonna need to keep on shipping down this left side tower guys we go in with a bit of a tornado here on defense we also see the defensive poison and because the poison came down preemptively for the bats um that also meant we were going to be able to just continue chipping them down i should have gone into the graveyard seeing that that poison was used like we said um we would have had free reign in order to graveyard that but right here we go into the graveyard they do have poison back in cycle so we see the poison i was like shoot honestly we see the snowball i just put uh snowballed the bats and i was like we're just gonna make sure we commit and definitely take this left side tower i start spamming i was gonna tornado anything they place to uh the tower to obviously kill the tower and ensure that baby dragon would splash luckily we get the tower take and now we are in overtime with graveyard not an ideal situation but our defense wasn't the best we were playing a little bit crazy this match was all over the place back and forth as you see the poison comes down i was like shoot that means we can 100 percent graveyard this i see the skeleton barrel i see the hog rider the opponent goes in and that means they have a lot less elixir we go into the bunch of stuff here on defense but luckily for us the graveyard the valkyrie they're able to get it done we get the tower down and that is an awesome way to end the video so you can see this deck definitely works you just have to play a little bit patiently and i expect that you'll have absolutely no problem beating the challenge with this deck so thank you so much for watching everybody best of luck in the challenge master diddy san out